So here we come to one of the most important slides in our lecture today, which will be the structures that are passing through the superior orbital fissure. So here is the superior orbital fissure, which, which transmits large number of vessels, nerves, and, uh, and veins, and arteries. And we, it is one of the hot topics in the exams to be asked about what are the structures that pass through the superior orbital fissure. These structures can be divided by the attachment of the tendinous ring into structures passing above it and structures passing below the common tendinous ring and structure passing within the common tendinous ring. So what are these structures? First, we have lacrimal frontal trochlear nerves. The lacrimal nerve, the frontal nerve, and the trochlear nerve pass above the common tendinous ring within the superior orbital fissure. Then we have an artery and vein. The artery is the recurrent meningeal branch, and the vein is the superior ophthalmic vein. So if we say superior ophthalmic vein, then we will have an inferior ophthalmic vein, but the inferior ophthalmic vein will be transmitted below the common tendinous ring. So whether these structures above or this structure below, these structures pass through the superior orbital fissure, but don't pass through the common tendinous ring. So what are the structures that pass through the common tendinous ring? We have just mentioned that the optic nerve of thalmic artery and the sympathetic fibers are within the common tendinous ring. And this common tendinous ring includes some of the structures present in the superior orbital fissure. This will be the superior division of oculomotor nerve <coughs> and the inferior division of the oculomotor nerve, nasociliar nerve, and abducens nerve. <coughs> So in order to uh, <clears throat> memorize these structures, <clears throat> we can remember it by what are the structures that pass through the superior optal fissure by this, uh, this mnemonic, live free to really see no insult at all. <clears throat> L for lacrimal nerve, F for frontal nerve, T for trochlear nerve, R for recurrent meningeal artery, S for superior ophthalmic vein. So these are the structures passing above the annual suffering. <clears throat> structures passing uh, inside the annulus of ring will be <clears throat> C, S for the superior division of the oculomotor nerve, N for nasociliar nerve, I for the inferior division of the oculomotor nerve, A for abducent nerve. So these are the structures passing inside and outside the ten, uh, common tendinous ring. So <clears throat> again, here we have the common tendinous ring. And this is the superior orbital fissure. We have lacrimal frontal trochlear nerve, recurrent meningeal artery, superior ophthalmic vein, and below will be the inferior ophthalmic vein. And the inside will be the structures passing through the optic canal, which are the optic nerve, ophthalmic artery, and the sympathetic fibers. And we have the superior and inferior uh, divisions of the uh, oculomotor nerve. We have the abducent nerve and the nasociliary nerve. So this is one of the very, very important slides that you need to memorize very well.